Hey, this is Ralph. In this video, I want to use Excel to calculate a weighted average grade for each student. All right, so I've got a spreadsheet set up, and this is a mock grade book. And in this particular class, uh, students have seven assignments, seven quizzes, and a couple of exams. And each category of assignment or assessment is a, a certain percentage weight. All assignments are 40, all quizzes are 30, and of course exams are 30, and that totals 100%. So the challenge here is to write a formula for the class grade for each student that will accurately count their grade, factoring in these weighted groups. So this is one way that a class might structure grades. Let's see how it will work. Now for each category of grade, it's going to be super helpful, not technically essential, but very helpful to average those categories together. So for my first student, I'll go ahead and equals average, and I will simply select the range of cells that represents that student's average grade. And it's okay if some of those are zero, that'll bring down the average, but it'll bring it down accurately. Now, once that I have an average for one student, I can just double click the fill handle to auto fill that down for the other students. So now I know the average assignment score. I'm going to do the same thing for quiz and then exam equals average. Okay, so now I know the average score for each of the three main categories for each student. Now comes the, the formula. So over here for class grade for student one, let me zoom in a bit on this. And that's going to be equals, I'm going to do an opening parenthesis because I want to kind of force the order of operations and I want to group the three parts of this formula together. So equals the average assignment score times the weight of that assignment score. So I'm clicking on the cell that contains that 40% weight. Now since all of my formulas are going to use that same weight, that cell reference for B1 in this example needs to be absolute. So I press the F4 key on my Windows machine to make that an absolute reference. Closing parentheses plus the average quiz, oops, I forgot my parentheses. The average quiz score times the weight of all quizzes, F4 to make that absolute, plus the average exam score, which for me is T3, times the weight for all exams, closing parentheses and enter. So this results in that grade. Let me go ahead and autofill this down. And now I know all of the students' grades. Now, when you first do this, it may be a little bit, you may be a little bit unsure if it's accurate, if it's actually producing the right information. And it's obviously important to you, and it's very important to the students that this is being counted accurately. So we can actually do a little experiment here. I can just go ahead and pick a student. I'll just pick student number nine. And I'm going to make all of their grades, and they'd be very happy about this, to 100. And I'm going to do that for each section, including the exams. So now we can clearly see, well, if every grade was 100, certainly then the class grade is 100. Now I can go through and I can pick a particular grade. So exam two, instead of being 100, I'm going to change that to zero. Now the impact on the grade is now it's an 85, and this makes sense because exams collectively are 30% of the course grade, therefore each individual exam is 15% of the course grade. If they did 100 for everything and they got a zero out in one exam, certainly their grade would be 85, which is 15% less than 100. So that's accurate, and of course if we had a zero on both exams, the grade could only be 70, assuming everything was 100. All right, so that makes sense. And we can do an additional test. Now that we see the concept work on the simple to calculate exam grade, we could do something similar for assignments. So if I were to look at, let's say, let me bring over my calculator real quick. Um, I see that assignments are worth 
Now I'm going to divide that by uh, seven assignments, which means each individual assignment should be about 5.7% of the course grade. Okay, so if I were to change one of these assignments to a zero, then the class grade is 94.29 or 94.3, which is pretty much 5.7 down. So we can feel pretty confident now that our formulas are accurate for the class grade calculation. And that's really all it takes. Basically getting the averages and multiplying the average for each category multiplied by the weight of that category and summing those values up. Have fun.